Okay guys, so picked up another toolbox. Now uh, this is the stainless, this is the 53 inch. It's, it's the same box that I picked up just the bottom of, but um, I got the bottom and the top this time. This was actually their display model at the local Sears and they were clearancing it out. I, I guess they're getting another toolbox in is why they clearance this out. Uh, it is not perfect because, like I said, it is their, uh, it was their display model. So it does have a um, few scratches and stuff like that in it. But uh, the drawers all seem to be doing okay. This bigger one here kind of sticks on this side a little bit, but I'm not sure if that's due to being used a lot or maybe not enough. Seems like uh, we've been playing with it and it's kind of working out of uh, the stickiness. But um, yeah, you know, I was impressed with my bottom that I got and you know, it's a real nice toolbox. And then they were clearancing it out. So I figured what the heck. Um, another thing with this toolbox is the lid. The lid wouldn't fit down. It was, uh, I don't know, it was all messed up. Ended up drilling out a rivet on each side and then uh, bending the, the lid into shape. It uh, fits really good now. I mean, it fits really good now. You'd never even know there was an issue. Um, it does have a little bit of uh, a little bit of deal right here. I could probably work that out by by pounding uh, this down. But the thing is, is this has I guess this has like a clear coat on it to help with fingerprints and stuff like that, cleaning the stainless. I didn't want to go pounding on it and possibly cracking that uh, that clear coat or finish or whatever they have on there. Uh, this does have the um, soft closed drawers on there. So they uh, just kind of close like that real nice. Um, I'm loving the soft closed drawers on all these toolboxes that I've gotten. Absolutely love the soft close. Um, my Dewalt's got that latch, quick latch or whatever and the tools get thrown forward. I mean I love the toolbox. Don't get me wrong, I love this Dewalt toolbox but the soft close is amazing. I find myself throwing all my other drawers, just kind of throwing them in there, thinking it's soft close. And uh, that doesn't usually work out the best. Okay, so I guess the heater's gonna turn on and uh, interrupt me here, but y'all just bear with me. Got a nice Craftsman stamped up in there. Got a nice uh, deal, lip all the way across, so you just grab it. Pull the lid up. Really nice. Has some pegboard on the back there if you want to hang some stuff. I've seen screwdrivers and stuff up there, but uh, this is not going to be like a normal toolbox for us. I'll explain that in a second. Uh, also got a power strip with some USB power deals on it. But uh, we're not going to be putting power tools up there, I don't think. So that's probably going to have to be used for something else. I might put some lights on this thing. And we'll use that power strip, I guess. Uh, if you look at this toolbox, you can see there's not many of the shallow drawers. You can see, on contrast to this Dewalt, there's all kinds of shallow drawers for like wrenches and stuff like that. This toolbox is going to be used for all of our electrical. Um, that means all of our, our wire. Uh, tools, uh, bulbs, you know, anything electrical uh, we're, we're going to put in this deal. We're getting, I'm getting quite a collection of, of wiring and stuff like that with all the lights that I do. So uh, this 
cabinet right here is actually full, completely full of electrical stuff. So we're going to take all that stuff out of there. We'll transfer it into here. Um, this will probably be leaving because we only have so much floor space, guys. So uh, the more toolboxes we get, you know, something's got to go. Uh, they do roll around really nice, so you can pull them out of your way, but it's just you we only got so much floor space so that'll probably go uh, either the garage or the shed or somewhere but like i said that's completely full i might as well show you it's a disaster i mean you can see uh, we got our dielectric grease connectors in here tape uh, tools uh, miscellaneous connectors here uh, it's just a mat you cannot find anything in the drawer like that the bottom part's the same way. Um, it's just kind of hard to get to even, you know, because it's just all crammed in there. Oh, uh, we got, we put the zip ties. We got them on the side there, and we got some scattered all over the shop. We've got tools scattered all over the shop that, that, that deals with um, electrical and stuff. We'll, we'll transfer them over to this. So I'm hoping that we're gonna get everything that has to do with electrical um, in this toolbox. And we'll probably free up some space in the other other boxes for other stuff. So that's the plan, guys. I know I'm kind of going toolbox crazy lately, but the, the organization that's happening is awesome. Um, I love working on things. I've been working on a few things. And having a spot for everything in all the toolboxes is so nice that um, it's worth it for me to spend the money to get all this stuff organized. But uh, I guess guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Just wanted to show you the new toolbox, the new electrical toolbox for the shop. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.